Hello and welcome to Turner Time Tutorials. This video is on how to determine memory usage and cellular data usage on your iPad. You may have a need to know what's using up all the storage space on your iPad and there's a quick and easy way to take a look at that. We're going to tap on our settings icon and if general is not already selected you're going to want to tap general and the third selection from the top is usage so I'm going to tap usage and if you'll notice at the top the iPad is thinking here you'll see the little radio moving and after a few moments it's going to show me what exactly is taking up all the space on the iPad. I'm going to bring this a little closer. You can see that 15.7 gigabytes are available, 12.2 gigabytes are used, and we can see exactly what's taking up all of the space. I have 2.3 gigabytes of video, music, photos, and then there's a button here at the bottom that says show all applications. So you can tap that to actually drill down and just see how much space each and every application is using on your iPad. So this will help you decide if you want to take some photos and move them onto another device such as your computer or if there's any apps that you don't use then you can delete them to free up some space on your iPad. I still have quite a bit of space left on mine so I don't need to make any changes or take any information and store it on my computer instead of my iPad. Now we're going to scroll down to the very bottom of this section. And there's a selection that says cellular usage. I'm going to tap cellular usage. And it's going to show me how much cellular network data I've used. So if you have a gigabyte restriction, one gigabyte or two gigabyte restriction on your cellular data plan, you can keep track of it here. So if I know that my plan ends on the 13th of every month, on the 13th, I can set a reminder on my calendar to reset my cellular usage. And I can go in and I can tap Reset Statistics. It's going to ask me, are you sure you want to reset your statistics? I'm going to hit Reset. And now they're reset to zero. And now I can keep track of how much data I'm sending with my iPad so that I can be sure not to go over my cellular usage. And one of the great things on your iPad is that on the left hand side you actually have a button for cellular data. So if you're at home or on the road and you don't want to use the cellular data or the wireless plan, you can tap cellular data and make sure that it's turned off. Then if you're on the move, you're in a cab, you're at a client's office and Wi-Fi is not available, you can then turn your cellular data on and then have access to anything that you need on your iPad including the internet. So make sure to keep an eye on your cellular data if you have a limited plan, and most of us do. Know that you can turn it on or off. And know that in your general settings that you can look at other usage and see what's taking up the memory space on your iPad. If you have any questions, please email info at getturnertime.com. Thanks for watching and have a productive day.